if you can't pass a drug test, don't even apply for a job. Okay? If you're thinking in your mind and you're trying to figure out how you can weave in and out and try to figure out uh, how to pass a drug test, this not for you. good everybody like out man back again with another fresh round of reaction videos for you guys but hold up hold up wait a minute hold up Wait a minute. This is the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Can I get a round of applause, please? Please, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate you guys coming up in here and, and chilling with me tonight. And in tonight's episode of the Lockout Men Reacts, we're going to react to this post that was posted in the She Trucking Trucking Group. Yes, sir. Uh, she Trucking. Don't forget about the She Trucking Expo that is coming up next month, the week of Truck Driver Appreciation. The first truck show that's brought to you by a African-American female. Of course, we're going to try and show her some love. Go down there. Enjoy yourself. Three days of excitement. Three days of good events. Three days of, of, of trucking tea or trucking sip or whatever the case. Uh, I believe the last day is going to be the barbecue cookout. So definitely get your tickets online at shetrucking.com or head over to the uh, Facebook group. I'm not sure if you can get into the group, but it's like a Facebook page or something like that. And click on there and let them know that you want to come and be a part of history well we're gonna go ahead and jump into tonight's post now listen i i i was going back and forth with some of the people that was commenting in this young lady's post all right now let me just say something smoke weed every day <sighs> there it is there it is this is this happens to be the number one question in every trucking group from anybody that's interested in trucking, okay? They always wanna know what can they do to beat the system. Now, the system is simple. To beat it is not to do it. Smoke weed every day. That's, that's about the best advice I can give you, is not to do it at all. There's no magical pill. There's no concoction that you can drink or anything like that. If you're an avid weed smoker, Smoke weed every day. if you're an avid weed smoker, it's going to be on you. It's going to be in you. It's going to be, it's going to take a while. Hold up. Hello? Hello? Hey, listen, I know it's late, my G, but I, I, I need your expert advice opinion you're 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 live right now so i i need i need your expert advice all right now you you know you, you you're coming you you came from you know uh you know you 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 came from Smoke weed every day. back in the day right the number okay. the number one question in the in this trucking industry right is how to uh, beat the drug test. How can I find, uh, if it's not that, they always, always want to know how to detox. If it's not that question, they want to know if the company is doing hair follicle or is they doing urine, right? So right. what I need to know from you, all right, what I, what I need to know from you Smoke weed every day. is, is there a magical pill that can clear up smoke weed every day That's not at all not at all right is nah. there, okay okay is there any type of detox that can smoke weed every day clear up vinegar fresh water okay all right now vinegar 
and fresh water. But what if every you, day? Every day for how long? Shit, till your piss is clean. Okay, now it don't take that long. It don't, it don't take that long. Uh, when you uh, I mean, I I beat that taking a federal drug test, so I know that's just official. Okay, now let me ask you now, now, now let me ask you this question. I say, I, I say, you know, to be completely clean because, you know. Just stop smoking. I mean, you want to be completely clean. You just stop. I mean, it takes like 30 days. Right. It depends but, on. But if you're it depends avid, on your, but if you. It all depends on your body. You know, if you're a skinny guy like me, it takes like 29, 30 days. But if you were a big guy with a lot of fatty cells, you know what I'm saying? It's going to take like, it may, shit, it might take 60. Okay, so let me ask you this. Okay. So so would it be on the safe side to at least wait about mm, say about four months to be to be on the safe side to be clean? Thirty days. All right, but what about to be on the safe if you're an avid smoker though? Smoke nah, it, it, it don't take that long. It all depends on your your body weight, your body mass. Mm-hmm. If, if, you a skinny guy, you know what I mean? And you and if you just trying to quit and you going through the right regimen of drinking fresh water, cranberry juice, eating leafy greens every day, it doesn't take that long to flush out. But if you a big guy, it, it might take okay, take thirty, so then give it thirty plus ten more days. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But as long as you going through because you can't just sit around and be like, I'm going to stop smoking. And, like, you ain't doing nothing about it. You still, you know, you drinking hop and sugary drinks and stuff. Like, you have to really flush out. You, you know, you got to help yourself. You know how they say you can't lead a horse. You, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Right. Well, you have to do things to help. You know what I'm saying? This this thing go by quick, can't be sitting around, you know what I'm saying, eating burgers, talking about, yeah, I'm done smoking. You got to do stuff. All right. Brush out. So you Fresh say, water. So you, say, yeah. uh, so you say water and vinegar and and do if that. If you want to do it the quick way, if you want to do it the quick way, take you, drink you half heavy gallons of water and take three shots of, well, not three shots, three half shots, because that's disgusting. Three half shots of vinegar. Do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I guarantee you, you'll be flushed out in no time. Okay, okay. I tell everybody this. Now, what about now, now, bro? Now, this is just uh, for your. This is just for your 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 urine, right? Yeah, but, this but see, but this, but this, you know, we, you know, we, this the trucking industry, my G. They do hair follicles, so. If they don't do if if they don't uh if they don't do the the the, the urine test, they're gonna take out a pluck of your hair, and then they're gonna go they're gonna do a test off of that. What do you got to say about that, if anything? Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I, I I don't know about that one, Black. Wash your hair, I guess. Wash your hair. <laughs> <laughs> just some uh, BSO8, <laughs> you know, a little conditioner. Uh, hey, make sure you wash your armpits, your pubes. Just wash your hair, I guess, you know. You're supposed to do that anyway. <laughs> you know, so we, you know, like I said, there, like I said, there's always, always guys that comes up in this, in this industry that ask, that question, man, like this, like like this question by this young lady right here. Uh, she says, right. she says, well, she's she's asking about a company, so she's thinking about coming into this industry by way of going uh, c- coming to a company that uh, you know that will pay for the school. Now she says, what company don't do hair follicle tests that pays for schooling? I'm willing to quit smoking Smoke weed every day. to obtain her CDLs. Listen, baby girl, it is CDL, commercial driver's license. Moving on. But I don't want to wait four months to get to school 
just to pass a drug test. Now, my brother, this this is serious business right here. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's already wow. bad enough. It's already bad enough that we go through scrutiny. We got rules. We got regulations. And this is federal, my G. This is federal. You right. know? So they do randoms. Like if you if 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 I'm driving and and my boss calls me up and say, yo, lockout. I need you to go down to the go down to the uh, piss test center, and and knock it out. You you gotta go, you know what I'm saying? You 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 gotta go. And if you if you test negative or you don't pass, then our shit is gonna be registered into the uh into the FMCSA's clearinghouse. Now once we once we. Well, you know what not to mean to cut you off. Mm-hmm. Well, for that situation now. You want to get into this industry? Period. Point blank simple. I, I should think my my I think that they should start now to start cleaning themselves up and not to take the shortcut. Because that's Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do do it the right way. But but I'm 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 saying, man, you know, man, things happen, man. Things happen where Grandma might have died, or a baby might have got hit, or you know, you're missing home, and you just reach over to your little box, and that little brown baby sitting there calling your name, and then you take a puff of that, and then they call you right after they took that, that puff. Everybody and their mama is going to be doing that shit, and it's going to fuck up the industry for real. No, for it's going to mess up everything, right? It's, huh? it's going to mess up the industry. But just work out. You can try to green. You say, you say, you say, eat the cotta greens. Work out. Eat the cotta greens and your mustard. Plenty of water. You'll be all right. 30 days. So you say, wait, 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 wait a minute. You say, do three shots of vinegar. Okay. Three shots of vinegar. My breakfast, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, Three. lunch, and dinner, and plenty of water. Plenty of water, and then plenty you say, water. and then you say, then you say, throw in some collard greens. Yeah, man, eat you some leafy greens and spinach and uh, turnips and mustard. You know what I mean? That stuff, you know, that stuff is good for the flush out. You know, plus you use vinegar and that too. Don't forget for those who don't know how to cook greens. Man, listen. You know, my mom, she throw down on some greens, man. But so that's so in your opinion. All right. Because yeah. like I said, I, you know, like I said, if you coming, if you coming into this industry, new guy. All right. Listen, if y'all coming up in this industry, just, oh, just know for, for, for future references. Stop, stop, stop smoking now. Smoke weed every day. I, you know, my partner, my partner right here, he says, 30 days, depending on the body mass. Me, I say go for the full four months. That is at least clear your shit. And if they do hair follicles, that it at least clear your clear your hair. All right. But if y'all want to, you know, if y'all want to go the way of my partner, you know, three shots of vinegar, morning, noon, and night, uh, greens, uh, and you and, and, and water. And, and and water. And you say what they yeah. Hey, also I hear I, I hear that if they if it's at a Planet Fitness, then this is just if y'all got a Planet Fitness uh black card because that's the only way you could get in there. But I hear going to the sauna and let that shit sweat out too, man. Do that work? Yeah, yeah. Sex will help. A lot of sex. That'll help too. <laughs> <laughs> You say a lot. Of, you say put in that sex work too, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of that, you know, some of that humidity, hot, passionate, butt naked. It's hot as fuck. I don't want to touch you no more, but I need to sweat this shit out. So, <laughs> <every day. laughs> so you say do. So you say do that every day too. Oh yeah, 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 man. That's part of the sweat. Yeah, buddy, come right on out. Come out always. <laughs> Literally. Oh man. Hey man, I, I appreciate you coming up in here chilling with me for yeah, a minute, thank man. You, man. I, thank I'm you, gonna brother. I'm gonna go ahead and uh let you go. Hold up. Coming from 
that particular background. Uh, he says uh, three shots of vinegar, morning, noon, and night. Greens, rough sets, and and if you got a Planet Fitness account, uh, if you got a Planet Fitness account, go ahead and hit that sauna and and sweat it out. All right, but all in all, all in all, in order to in order to beat the system per se. In order to beat the system, don't do it. Smoke weed every day. Don't don't do it because this is a serious this is serious serious business. All right, I just want to say, listen, young lady. All right, I don't you know nobody is not trying to beat you up, and I see what you're trying to do because you you want to come in here, you want to you want to get your CDL without the S, and you want to you know you want to rock out. You know, there's money to be made into this industry, but when people come up in here because you're not the first and you definitely won't be the last, some people just feel that this industry just isn't for you if you smoke weed every day. And if you're trying to figure out some way in a, a, a quick fix, a detox, or, or whatever the case. She's, this young lady says, you need to understand the responsibilities of driving an 80,000 pound solid block of metal. Don't even try and get CD, a CDL unless you're going to give up smoking until you retire from driving. This one right here says, this is a trucking site. I'm sorry, but we take this seriously. I don't think we want to judge you so much as we want to take it serious. When you decide you want to become a trucker, it has been a few months, question mark. You should check out the DOT rules. Good luck. I don't think people is judging you, you know, for uh, for you. Smoke weed every day. Because everybody do it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody smoke weed every day. We just simply saying, you know, this is a trucking group and everybody seems to always want to come to a trucking group and always trying to figure out, well, how can I get with a school that don't do hair follicles? Or how can I get with a trucking company? What, what trucking company that don't do hair follicles? Or what, uh, what I need to do in order to clean my system up? You know, we get that all the time. And to some, to some they, they take this industry like, serious some of them you know don't some of them won't even be uh, some of them take this stuff to heart because there's been a lot of accidents a lot of trucking related accidents and some of which has been you know because under the influence before we get on up out of here you know i want to thank my man avery for coming in and chopping it up with me right quick he had past tense some experience with that you know he you know he got himself clean got it you know he got a you know got his job and everything and he knows the ramifications of smoke weed every day so you know i i just want you to you know if if you if you smoking right now you you just need to stop keep doing that like he said until your urine becomes clean and the best way to check that out is that you can either go online or you can go to a drug store and pick up a, a drug testing kit and all like that. Now, as far as the hair follicles go, it, do, it does go back. They do take a wad of your hair, you know. They, they take, <laughs> if they can't get it from the hair, they're going to get it from under here or they're going to get it from down here or they, they're going to get it. They're gonna get it. And and as far as as far as it goes back, I don't know. I don't know. But to be on the safe side, I, I would think that you would have to go the whole the whole four months. If you can't pass a drug test, don't even apply for a job. Okay? If you're thinking in your mind and you trying to figure out how you can weave in and out and try to figure out uh how to pass a drug test, this not for you. Day by federal rules. It's not about it's not about state, it's not about your local government. It's is federal stuff.
That's why if you hit somebody on the highway or anything that goes on on the highway, you get you get charged with a crime, anything like that. You get federal time. Okay, so if you if you can't pass a drug test, don't even apply for a job. Okay, if you're thinking in your mind and you're trying to figure out how you can weave in and out and try to figure out uh, how to pass a drug test, this not for you. That's what I said. That's what I said. If you got to come in and start your journey, and that first question that comes out of your mouth is, "How do I get? How do I detox myself?" Because you know, I I've been smoke weed every day. I've been doing that. Then this is not for you. This this is not. Not I'm not discouraging you. I mean, if it if it works, if you really want this then you got to put in the work to make sure that you're clean. All right? Because like he said, this is this is regulated. This is federal. You know, you 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 hit somebody up under the influence and it's your fault and it's tragic, you're going to jail. You're doing time. You're doing time, all right? We get randoms all the time. All the time. We get randoms all the time. So more power to you. I wish you luck. I wish you well. Um, There is a lot of companies out here that don't do hair follicles. You just got to make sure you do your research on the companies that you do. I suggest that you sub to my channel and look at the uh, call videos, five years worth. Some of them do hair follicles. Some of them don't. Um, I know Rail don't. Swift don't. CRST don't. And I do believe CR England don't do hair follicles. I might be wrong on the last one, but but definitely, definitely, you know, if if you want to start getting yourself clean, Vinegar, water, lots of water, vinegar, morning, noon, and night. Uh, get that sauna going. Get that rough sets going like my partner said. You know what I'm saying? To get yourself cleaned out. Well, that's it, everybody. Yo, if you like this video, hit that like button for me. If you don't like it, it, it is what it is, man. But if you do like it, you know, and you know somebody else that might can use the helpful advice that, you know, that I provide here. Yo, share the video, all right? Hit that like button for me. I appreciate you guys being here. You guys have a very good night. I am Lockout Men, and I will come back at you with another one. Peace. If you can't pass a drug test, don't even apply for a job. Okay, if you're thinking in your mind and you're trying to figure out how you can weave in and out and try to figure out uh, how to pass a drug test, this not for you.